Hi, I'm following along with Paul McWhorter's Raspberry Pi lesson. We're on lesson 19, and uh, uh, we're talking about controlling a servo. So um, Paul showed us how to control a servo with input keyboard input and everything. And then uh, his homework was is to be able to control this with a potentiometer. Um, this is, that would be like the Arduino knob sketch. Um, so, um, I said, yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. So my previous video, I showed how I, uh, uh, did the ADC 0834 without a library. So I decided just to keep that going and without the library and just add, the uh, um uh change over to the moving the um servo along with it uh, anyhow i'm really enjoying paul's lessons and uh look forward to a lot more let's get to the code so you can go back to my previous video if you want to see about this, all this first part about my uh, function for um, doing a read ADC without a library. So that's down to here. And then um, uh, add in the PWM for the servo and the output for the servo and PWM for that. Um, basically, what Paul was showing us to do. I guess before that, we Paul, I followed Paul's example and just typed in this to find out what my uh, uh, PWM duty cycle was to go all the way around on a servo. And mine was very similar to his. Mine was two to 12 as well. So um, uh, that was working very well. So, and uh, got that all settled. So, uh, like I said, we already had this where we were reading the potentiometer in our my previous uh, video. So, all oh, that's down to here is good. So, um, we're getting a zero to 255 in the uh, potentiometer, and we had to change that to our duty cycle of two to 12. So, um, uh, I know Paul's going to go uh, over all the long form math of that. He's gone over it several times in his different lessons and everything. Um, but uh, we definitely have uh, worked it out. And uh, this is the exact same math he does just in uh, one equation uh, where in, it's the same as the map function on Arduino. I know Pat Paul doesn't like that, but once you learn how to do it from pencil and paper, it just doesn't make sense. That would be like writing out every line of code without doing the loops. So, and uh, like I said, just doesn't make sense to keep reinventing the wheel when we already have this. So basically we're just uh, getting a number between zero and 255. And then we're having uh, the, saying that the minimum min is zero and the maximum min is 255. And we're mapping that to somewhere between two and 12. And that's gonna be in a uh, floating format. So we'll get nice long numbers in there. Um, so not a problem. So anyhow, this part down here is where we're actually doing that uh, knob part of it. I also add the sweep part of it where the servo sweeps between zero and 255 and we're still in the mapping. And uh, so it's gonna sweep through its range one way and then it's gonna sweep through its range back the other way. Then, then it goes into the knob part. So um, I can hold this up and show you what we're doing with it when we run it, but... Uh, it's pretty short and sweet. And then we just clean up with the, when we're ready to finish up, we just do the control C to finish up with it. 
So let's go ahead and get it run. So we're sweeping now and then we're sweeping back and now setting up to the uh, matching the potentiometer. So I'm turning the potentiometer one way, turn the potentiometer the other way, turn it back. Uh, that was pretty short and sweet, and I'm sure Paul's going to go over to math uh, next week for this, but uh, uh, like I said, I understand the math, and I don't have to work it out on pencil and paper anymore. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and look forward to more videos from Paul. Have a great day, everybody.